Someone's at the door. Someone's at the door. Someone's at the door. Do this over. <laughs> oh, why isn't it ringing? Hello, who's this? Yeah. 
Well, I, I, I know I keep saying I'll make it up to you, but I will. <laughs> okay? All right. All right. Well, I guess I'll see you later then. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll call you, Mary. All right. Bye. Bye. Because it's supposed to be nighttime. The last one's nighttime too, wasn't it? Yeah, but we were in the house. I mean, this is. This it would be cool if you had cool shadows. I know, but this doesn't even make it that dark. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the dust lamp? Let's get the dust lamp. Then you have to talk, and then you can, like, to emphasize the fact you're talking to me, you can be like, well, she's not happy, but she bought it. <laughs> shirt thanks yep yep well I don't know here it is oh you did find it I did Shh. I don't know she doesn't seem to suspect anything but she also doesn't sound too happy <laughs> that's too bad isn't it yeah, yeah it is. Thanks. I don't know. Don't you think this is bad? Bad? In what way? Well, in the sense that I'm her fiance. Yeah. You're her best friend. Yeah. These are truths we can't deny. <laughs> well, then I guess it's bad. But otherwise, it's fine. Mm, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> well, I don't know. Why don't you just break up with her? Susan, you know Mary Kate. Thank you. I thought you were buttoning me. Thank you. You know I can't do that. Why? Why? Because she's Mary Kate. Because she's Mary Kate. Because she's Mary Kate. What does that mean? You know exactly what that means. You know exactly how she is. You know that she's a Catholic schoolgirl. You know that, you know, she's been saving herself for seven years. So oh, I heard. Oh, you're doing a little digging? Uh-huh. I'm pretty naughty. <sighs> and, you know, I've kept her hanging on for seven years. And it started out really cute, you know, it's, we were this nice little couple. And, um, that wears a little thin into the third year, maybe the fourth. Like, I can't just sit around and wait. So he turns to his fiancée's best friend. So he turns to his fiancée's best friend. Not necessarily the best friend. But in this case, why not? I, I mean, there's others. No, no. But... I just can't keep doing this, sweetie. I can't. So you're breaking up with me? I can't do that either. <laughs> but I can't keep going back to marry Kate. I can't keep lying. But I can't break up with her. You can see the predicament. So? So? So I have to find some way get out of the relationship without getting out of the relationship. Any ideas? Nope. You better make out. 
You didn't find my pants anywhere. Did no, you? I did not. <laughs> Usually don't. Well, enough of all this chit chat. I have a bachelorette party to get. Hi. Hi, Mom. It's me. No, it's not Ashley. It's Mary Kate. I know we sound alike. We look alike. What do you want? Of course. Yeah, I'm fine. No, Nick's not here. Yeah, gotta work late again. Oh. She's sleeping. You know her, she's always sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'll have her call you. I gotta go. I'm right in the middle of writing this story. Yeah, I love you too. Bye, Mums. That was good? Yeah. Good. I like you coming in through the thing. Is that not good? So you'd be knocking on the door? Or wouldn't you be laying there? She's laying there. Alright. At this point, I, I think we should need an ellipse in time. Come on. We can charge the battery. <laughs> Can't we just plug it in somewhere? Ms. Veronica Marr? Yes. Uh, my name is Ar Detective Archie O'Donnell. I have a couple of questions to ask. I, like uh, I hope you have some time to answer some questions. Yes. And when I say LA, <laughs> I mean New York. <laughs> Sorry, it has to be under these circumstances. 
Um, my name is Detective Marchie O'Donnell, and I need to ask you a few questions, if that's all right. Uh, first of all, what is your relationship to the deceased? I'm her upstairs neighbor. Her upstairs neighbor. And how long have you known Ms. Tanner? Approximately two years. Okay. And you were the first person to discover the body, is that correct? Approximately what time did you discover the body? Um, 9.30. And what was your reason for coming down? Um, I had gotten some mail that was Mary Kate's and I wanted to return it. Mm -hmm. Approximately what time did you get that mail? Uh, 2, 2.30. And uh, was there a reason for you waiting seven hours before you brought the mail? I had calls to make. And, and do you uh, normally get the mail of the Tanners? No. And is there more than one Tanner that lives here? Um, yes. And who is Ashley Tanner? Uh, she is Mary Kate's twin sister. And she lives here as well? Yes, she does. And do you know what Mary Kate Tanner does for a living? She works for the New York Times. Okay. And Ashley Tanner, what does she do? She's a waitress. Is uh, Ashley Tanner here right now? No. Is anyone in this apartment right now, to your knowledge? No. Have you checked? So, as far as you're concerned, you are the only one to have seen the body of Mary Kate Tanner. Yes. Now, just to get a little more in depth, based on your knowledge, it's a tricky question to ask, but was Mary Kate Tanner involved in any sort of mysterious things? <laughs> and I laugh because it's not <laughs> was she involved in anything bad? Your problem. Well, do you think that's out of line to ask her? <laughs> no, she was not. She was not involved in mysterious <laughs> things. Do you know anyone that would have wanted to kill Mary Kate Tanner? Of course not. As far as you know, what is the relationship between Mary Kate Tanner and Ashley Tanner? They're sisters. Can you expand on that thought at all? Okay, did Mary Kate Tanner have uh, any other friends that frequented here? Um, her boyfriend, Nick. Do you know his last name? Stevens. <laughs> uh, anyone else? Um, her friend Susan mm -hmm. Warner. She cute? Susan Warner. All right. If you don't mind, I'm going to check the place out. Just uh, make sure that no one's here. <laughs> so if you could do me a favor and just stick around. Great. Thanks. Mar, Detective Archie O'Connell. I just have. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Ms. Mar, Detective Archie O'Donnell. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions to ask you. Sure. Um, number one, you were the person that found the body. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And you found 911. Yes. Approximately, what time did you find the body? About 9.30. Okay. 
What is your relationship to Mary Kate Tanner? I'm her upstairs neighbor. And have you known her for a while now? Um, about two years, ever okay. since she moved in. Does she live here alone? No, she lives with her sister Ashley. Do you know where her sister is right now? No, I don't. And do you know any of the other people that regularly come around here? Um, her boyfriend Nick. Nick, do you know his last name? Warner or Warren. Warner or Warren. And anyone else? Um, oh yes, her best friend Susan. Do you know her last name? Thompson. Okay. Um, to the best of your knowledge, is there anyone else in this apartment right now? No. Do you know anyone that would want to kill Mary Kate Tanner? Of course not, Detective. Thank you for your time. I'll be right back. I'm just going to check the apartment out. Detective Archie O'Donnell, to ask you a few questions. My God! She's dead too! something uh did Columbo in there ask you guys the same sort of accusatory little question? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, you think he knows who did it? I think he knows. I think we all know. Really? Ashley. Yeah, who's that? Susan? Girls may talk. What's that? Well, you were Mary Kate's best friend. You should know, shouldn't you? Well, you were a fiance, as I recall you told me the other night. You wanted to get rid of her. Oh, oh, that's it. So I came over here in a fit of rage, right? Is that how you left me? In a fit of rage? I didn't say you had to be outraged. Well, as I recall, I did say that to you, that I wanted her out of my life. Of course, I wouldn't have ever thought of that as being murder, but maybe that's what your diabolical mind jumped to, Susan, as you left my apartment and went to God knows where. Hmm. Would be hurt a little bit more for you, wouldn't it, losing a best friend? I mean, we already know that I didn't like her. Could have broken up with her, couldn't I? You didn't like her, then why were you with her for seven years? Ashley, answer her. Oh, a little bit of mutiny. That's that's good. That's good. The only problem is that I didn't kill her. And who did? Well, I don't know. Seeing as how Ashley couldn't stand her, and you had every reason to kill her. It seems to me like the murderer is sitting at this table and doesn't have a penis. Why would I want to kill him? <laughs> For you? Please. Ashley, where were you? I was asleep before. Where? Where else would I be asleep but my own apartment? You were asleep? mistake. Someone killed your sister and your best friend. And your fiance.
look, it's Founders Day. Like any. What is your name? Susan Thompson. And what is your relationship to Mary Kate? I'm her best friend. For how long? I thought. And what was your relationship to Mary Kate? I was her best friend. And how long have you known her? Ten years. Can you think of any reason why someone might want to have hurt Mary Kate? Um. Nick told me he wanted her dead. And he didn't. <laughs> Nick told me that he wanted to get rid of her. And I know she was working on a story for the Times that she said. Can you think of any reason why someone might want to... Can you think of any reason why anyone would have hurt Mary Kate? No. I don't know who could have done that. All I know is this. Nick told me he wanted her out of the picture. The only way I could see it happening is if, if Nick went to her house after I, I left that night. Nick Warner. Nick Warner. No, no, I don't. I was her fiance for six and a half years. I was her fiance. Well, we had been engaged for three years and seven years altogether, seven years. Look, I don't know, all right? I know it could have been a lot of people, I guess. Everyone had a reason. Uh, Susan, I don't know. All I know is it's not me, all right? Uh, I mean, could have been Susan. She, uh, that night, would left my apartment. And she was the jealous other woman. She wanted her out of the picture. I believe that's what her words were. She could have done it. Could have been her sister, Ashley. Ashley always hated her. She was the only one there. Could have been that neighbor. Never trusted her. And she was the one that found the body a little bit too convenient. All I know is it's not me, all right? Ashley Tanner. She was my sister. All my life. No, everyone loved Mary Kate. She was perfect. Maybe it was Nick and Susan. I know they were having an affair and I suspect that I'm just gonna get rid of her. I wish it were just the two of us. Are you going to be a waitress all your life, Ashley? Just because we're twins and we look alike, and it doesn't mean we have to be alike and act alike. Just wish you would leave me the hell alone and get out of my life. Just because we're twins doesn't mean we're the same person. Why don't you just get the hell out of my life?
awesome. You jerk. <laughs> This is cool. This would be a cool what photograph. What truth? Yours or theirs? <laughs> Whose truth? Why did you kill her, Susan? I didn't. I was joking. I said that I wanted to run. <laughs> Yours too. But you had to go and ruin it. Did you kill her? Is it for me? You stay here. Sure. I killed her. <laughs> no horror. God. Are they pointing at you? I don't think so. Yeah, they are. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, they we have new actors in the movie. I don't know. How can they see that? Give me your finger. That's so weird. Oh, 
there, so yeah. Can we use that for something? Oh, but wait a minute, what's he doing? Then I do, just start looking in the cabinet.
Oh, it's so not focused. Can you believe it? Of all people that would kill my sister, cop. You just can't trust anyone these days. Yes, you can. No, I can see you. You're going to have to move back. Hello, Detective O'Donnell. Miss Veronica Marr. It was you all along, wasn't it? Come on, so. I'm not ready yet. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to say. Don't kill her. Ready? It's on right now. Veronica, let it go. I don't think so, Archie. She knows too much. So all of this was just a game to protect your name? What, Veronica? To protect your name, Archie. I did this for you. I don't need protection, Veronica, so let the girl go, and we'll just settle this over there. I don't need protection, Veronica, so let the girl go. I don't think so, Archie. Why are you doing this, Veronica? Because I love you, Archie. Don't you remember? Yes, of course I remember, but it was just a month. It was just staying in my house, nothing. I didn't ask for any of this. Why? But, but you saved me, Archie. I didn't save you. Now I have to save you. I did it to protect you. But this isn't saving me or protecting <laughs> me. Let's do that again. Veronica, why are you doing this? Because I love you, Archie. Isn't that a little psychotic? Do you remember me? Yes, I remember you. You were a hooker. I gave you a place to stay for a month. That's it. Nothing like this. But I did this to protect you. Killing people does not protect me, Veronica. Just let me go. No. Well, what are your plans after this? Where are you going to go? They'll catch you. We'll be together. Will you see? No, I don't! <laughs> Thank you.
then say it. If I have to open another piece of that bitch's mail, I swear. If I have to open another piece of that bitch's mail. All right, I'm gonna try and make this as painless as possible. So, just state your name for the record, please. What is your relationship to the deceased? How long did you know her? Do you know anyone that could have done this to marry Kate Tanner? Do you know anyone that could have done this to marry Kate Tanner? Tell me who did it, because I have some suspicions, and you all have your own little alibis and your own little reasons why there's no possible way you could have done it. But I happen to know who did it. I happen to have hard evidence. So why don't you give me the truth, all right? Come this way, Ms. Moore. Ashley, come downstairs with me. I have a few things of your sister's I'd like to give you. Nick Warner, please. Nick? It's Veronica Marr. I think you better come. What the hell? Nick Warner, please. Nick, it's Veronica Mar. I think you better get to Mary Kate's. Nick Warner, please. Nick, it's Veronica. Ms. Warner, can you have a seat? I don't think so. Why is that? We know who the detective is. <laughs> Ms. Warner, can you have a seat, please? Ms. Thompson, can you have a seat, please? I don't think so. We know who the killer is to take. Oh, would you like to clue me in? Sure. <laughs> what is this, a joke? You've got to be kidding me. We all have somebody very special to us. Ms. Thompson, you better give me the gun. I don't think you understand. Ms. Thompson, I'm the police detective here. You are one of the suspects. Now give me the gun. This doesn't look good for you, you know. Sit down. This is ridiculous. And how did you all decide that it was me that did it? Oh my god. Don't tell me this is news to you. Shh. I can't believe it. Don't tell me this surprises you. Shh. Can't believe this. Didn't think a hooker would come back to haunt you? Hooker. Veronica. Look, detective. The game is up now, okay? I mean, uh, you come in here and bust all of our balls over all these petty little who's guilty and who's guilty, but we know exactly what's been going on. See, we came up across a little disc. Mary Kate's been working on something that involves you directly, and you gotta do that again. <laughs> Look, detective, we all know what's going on here, and I think it's about time you give up. Because we came across a little disc, something that involves you quite directly. I don't I don't know why he's doing this. I mean he knows who did it. At least he thinks so. And who's that? You all know. You all think I did it. 
so fucking ridiculous. I am not going down. I am not going down. A little paranoid, aren't we? Look, did either of you do it? I mean, just tell me. I'm not going to say anything until I promise. Of course not. Well, it's not me. And so this is just ridiculous. I mean, it's not either of them. They're batty enough. And the two of you, we... It's got to be someone else. He isn't even exploring any of these options. This investigation is all a sham from start to finish, from the top to the bottom. I mean, come on. She, she works for the New York Times. Isn't it possible that she was working on some sort of story or something? She was working on this top secret story. Well, that's it. I mean, that's, that's your key. That's... So how do we find it? I mean, how do we know what she was working on? Why don't we check her word processor? I'll go get it. I can't believe you betrayed me. Are you betrayed me? So we'll just check this. That's the button. It's not coming on. Where's the disk? Usually she has the disk. Until the story is published. Where? It could be anywhere. Well, we'll look. All right, start looking. Detective Archie O'Donnell, decorated police officer of the NYPD, was known to have shared residence with a prostitute whom he failed to bring up on charges. He, he must have found out about the article. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. He killed her. The cop killed her. Detective O'Donnell killed Mary Kate. Mary Kate was killed by the detective. <laughs> <laughs> he killed my he killed her sister. He killed your sister too? He's a killer. Oh, who died? I don't know. Okay, bye. Thank God it's over. I can't take it anymore. Do you can we do insane things to camera? Ow! My dip. Damn good.